The artificial intelligence world shifted on its axis this week with news that stopped tech observers cold. NVIDIA, the undisputed champion of the AI chip race, has reportedly agreed to a landmark deal with the startup Grok, a transaction valued at a staggering $20 billion. For a moment, it seemed the world's only meaningful AI competitor was being swallowed whole. But this isn't a simple acquisition. It's a complex licensing agreement where NVIDIA gets the prize technology and brains behind it, while Grok's shell continues on. This maneuver raises a fundamental question for America's tech future. When the dominant player absorbs its most promising rival, what happens to innovation? Let's be clear about what NVIDIA is acquiring. Grok is no ordinary startup. Founded by Jonathan Ross, a key mind behind Google's pioneering tensor processing unit, TPU, Grok built its reputation on a different kind of chip called a language processing unit, ELPDU. This architecture isn't for training giant AI models, it's for inference the moment an AI model like ChatGPT actually delivers an answer to your question. Grok's claim to fame is doing this with incredible speed and efficiency, promising performance that caught the industry's attention. Just three months ago, investors valued this potential at $6.9 billion. NVIDIA is now paying almost triple that, a premium that signals just how serious this threat had become. So, why does this deal feel unsettling? The analysis points to a worrying trend of market consolidation disguised as strategic expansion. NVIDIA dominates the market for training AI models, but the inference market is more competitive. By licensing Grok's technology and hiring its founder and president, NVIDIA isn't just adding a new product line. It is neutralizing a unique architectural challenge and internalizing the talent that could have fueled a decade of competitive pressure. An insider investor in Grok noted that the company's first principles vision was to drive the cost of inference toward zero. Will that visionary goal survive inside a behemoth whose business model depends on premium pricing? The history of tech suggests it often does not. The solution is not to vilify a successful company for making a sharp business move. The solution is to actively champion and fund the next Grok. A healthy ecosystem requires robust alternatives. We need investors and customers with the courage to back the next generation of disruptors who are designing chips from the ground up for new AI paradigms. Policymakers, too, must ensure that licensing deals and acqui-hires do not become tools to quietly stifle competition before it truly blooms. True progress is forged in the fire of rivalry, not in the comfort of a monopoly. As we stand at this crossroads, reflect on what we truly value. Do we want an AI future built by a single architect or one crafted by many brilliant, competing minds? The $20 billion price tag for Grok isn't just a measure of its technology's worth. It is the cost of admission NVIDIA paid to remove an obstacle from its path. Our task now is to ensure the road ahead isn't left empty, but is instead filled with new pioneers, building differently and dreaming boldly. The next great idea shouldn't have a for sale sign waiting at the door.